From your perspective as a historian, what's the value in someone watching these 50-year-old hearings? I think, you know, we always, um, we, we live a history from the beginning forward uh, to, the, to the end, but we read history from the end back. And we know how the Vietnam War ended. We know, we remember the pictures of Americans being evacuated into helicopters from the roof of the embassy in 1975. We know that North Vietnam took over South Vietnam and united the nation and made it a communist nation. We know essentially that everything that we fought the war for, just the opposite happened. We also know that we are now, uh, we recognize Vietnam. We have an ambassador there, that President Clinton got huge crowds cheering him when he went to Vietnam. Uh, it's a very different country. In fact, the majority of Vietnamese were born after the war. The war they called the American War, which we call the Vietnam War, uh, is in part of their history. In fact, they fought a war with China more recently than they fought a war with us. Uh, so it's a very different situation. We know all of that. What we hear the testimony, uh, it was given in 1966, none of those people knew how it was going to end. They all project the ending, what they hope is going to end. Dean Rusk thinks that the North Vietnamese are just gonna give up and decide that it's not worth the fight. They're gonna go back to their own country and live in North Vietnam and let the South Vietnamese live themselves as if the Viet Cong are going to disappear. Uh, I mean, it, that's the, the, his vision. Sec uh, George Kennan is saying, we have to get out of there in the most face-saving way possible. This is not a winnable war. General Gavin is saying we need to create enclaves and defend the little bits of the country that we still control and not try to take back everything in the process. General Taylor is talking about what are the realities of the government in, uh, in South Vietnam. None of them know what we know. Uh, and in fact, uh, some of the books that are written by diplomatic historians are, as we now know, uh, because they do know the end. And even Robert McNamara, who went back to Vietnam in the 1990s to meet with the people who'd been his opponents, had to confront many of these issues and had to rethink his uh, policies and came to the conclusion that the war had been a mistake, at least the way they had fought the war. Uh, so uh, this takes us back to that period. It gives us a chance to actually see the people who were involved as they tried to grapple with creating the policy and the senators who had to decide whether or not they could support or they should oppose that policy.